Hi there everyone, this is Bob Martin with rcsub.com and the Nautilus Dry Docks. And this is my most recent project I wanted to share with you. It's a Thor design, Seawolf class, nuclear uh, attack submarine in 96 scale. And uh, this is basically what it looks like. Now I've, uh, I've had about a week to, uh, to work on it. And bear in mind, I, I do most of my work uh, early in the morning um, and on the weekends, uh, certainly not a full-time thing. So it's going together fairly quickly. I'm very happy with it. Um, it is an epoxy hull, uh, again put together by Matt Thor. Um, absolutely beautiful craftsmanship. Nice thin hull, very very light and strong. All the panel lines uh, and, uh, and and features are scribed into the hull. Detail pieces are cast resin and then we've got some white metal fittings as well. This is the uh, propulsor assembly that goes on the back and uh, if we put this shroud on you can see what the uh, final look is going to be. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I, I did the uh, hull access. Basically it comes with a, a top and bottom half. What I did is I cut with a razor saw around the front dive planes. So it's a very, very thin seam there. And what that does is it allows me to make the dive planes part of the lower hull assembly, which of course also houses all of the linkages for the uh, rear dive planes and the rudders. So uh, this rear section was cut with a razor saw as well and again you can see it's a very thin clean line so basically to take it off all we do is pull the top and everything comes right off and I epoxied a, uh, a lip in this hull and that slips in underneath the top, keeps the back locked in. I'll be working on the front catch a little bit later on in the process. This is the, uh, the inside setup and I apologize, it looks kind of nasty right now, but I wanted to uh, pre-paint the interior before I put the, the top piece on there. Uh, this is our main drive shaft the uh, linkages for our rudders and then the, uh, the linkages for the uh, dive planes here as well. Again, going together extremely well. I'm really happy with how fast uh, it's coming together, how clean everything looks. Uh, these bulkheads are not part of the kit. Uh, I printed these out on my 3D printer uh, which is right here. You can see I've still got one in there that I did not use. I find this is a great tool for mocking things up very very quickly. The level of finish is not uh, you know perhaps what you would call museum grade but uh, certainly really really good for the purposes that I've been using it for. And the last thing I want to show you today is the actual uh, drive unit. Now this is a, a three and a half inch diameter cylinder um, put out by Dave Merriman got our front battery compartment, uh, the front bulkhead which will house the, uh, the main power switch. We've got a, a huge ballast tank in here that's going to be a gas system and then this is the main drive section. It's got twin uh, motors. This is going to be very 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 torquey. Uh, runs to a single output shaft um, right now I've got two outputs, one for the rudder and one for the rear dive planes. And then what I think I'm going to do is have another uh, set of servos for the front dive planes so that the, uh, the new owner here can elect to run them separately, perhaps keep the rear dive planes on a pitch controller. Uh, and then the last servo is actually going to be to actuate a pair of torpedo tubes. So that's going to be kind of exciting. They're going to be a little bit over scale at 70 second scale, but it's going to be fairly marginal. Um, but the, uh, again, the new owner who commissioned this wanted to have operational torpedoes 
in the boat. So, this is the uh, beginnings of the uh, Thor Design 96 scale Seawolf. Stay tuned for more updates as they come. Um, hoping to have this done within 30 days in the water, and I'll show you guys some video. Thanks for watching.